Okay, so in part one of the video, what we did was we, sh we placed our ceilings in there. We used the um, auto ceiling command, but we also used the sketch ceiling command. We placed ceilings, um, acoustic ceiling tiles in some of the office spaces, and then we put a gypsum board ceiling in the, um, in the hallway here. All right, so when you're placing these, um, these light fixtures in there, I'm, if you want to center these light fixtures or kind of shift these light fixtures around, the best way to do it is with the dimension command. And so you can see in the handout that we have here, this is it here. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right. In certain instances uh, where we have the gypsum board, we want to center these light fixtures in that room. Um, so what I have here is it says EQ, 5 foot, 5 foot, and then EQ. If you just want to do all EQs, uh, it's a little difficult to get the little 5 foot in there, so just do all EQ in there. Um, all right. But I want to basically center these light fixtures in the hallway here. So I've got three light fixtures in the hallway and then one kind of out here in the lobby. Okay, so let's go back to our project. All right, three light fixtures in the hallway. All right, and I'll move this guy out there. All right, so to center these light fixtures in the hallway, what I'm going to do is use the dimension command. All right, dimension to the interior wall, interior wall, and then to the middle of the light fixture. And then just hit the EQ button. And that'll center it. Then I can use the... I used... Um, let's see, what did I use? Oh, I used the fluorescent one. And then I went through a line, but it, it actually doesn't matter which one you use. You can use 8, 6, or whatever. And then to align the rest of those fixtures, I'm just going to use the align command. Oops. All right, so I'm going to use the align command. And align those fixtures. And then I want to space them equally here. All right, so these guys in the hallway. All right, and then equal, uh, equal spacing there. All right, so what you're basically doing is just kind of using the dimension command and spacing these uh, light fixtures out so they're there's an equal distance between the light fixture and the uh, two edges. All right, and then so so on and so forth. But use the use the handout here as kind of a guide as to which which light fixtures need to be uh, spaced evenly. All right, um, and then all right, and then basically when you're putting in those return error and supplier registers. You're doing that with the component command. So you go to architecture, component, and putting in those uh, supply and return air registers. So here's the supply grill. I'm using the 24 by 24. And I'll place it in there. And then I have to kind of snap, use the align command to kind of align it to where it needs to go. All right. So when you're doing this, though, use the uh, the handout um, that's under uh, on Blackboard under assignments and quizzes. This is just kind of my enlarged view of that reflected ceiling plan, um, and place your light fixtures using that. Then there's one last thing. Then in the lobby. So if I do a uh, I did a 3D perspective view in the lobby to show you kind of what the lobby looks like. All right. So here's the lobby. And you can see here that there's this gap. Um, there's the ceiling. There's the light fixtures that are in the ceiling. And then here's the floor above. So um, what you've got is just a big open plenum there. That's basically what this is, this space is called between the ceiling and the floor. Um, this is where mechanical duct would, ducts would go and uh, structural components would go in there. What we want to do is close that off. So I'm going to put let's call a fur down in there. And what all, all that's going to be is just a wall that has a 10 foot offset, a base offset of 10 feet, and goes up to the second floor. And that's basically all that's all that we're going to do there. Um, all right, so let's go back to our project file. Oops. All right, going back to my ceiling plan. Go to the ground floor. All right, so I'm just going to take a wall and I'm going to trace the outside of that um, ceiling in the lobby there uh, with a uh, an interior wall. So let's go to wall. I'm going to use an interior wall. Yeah, what you could do is if you really want to be like super accurate, what you do is you take that four and seven eighths partition duplicate it, 
create a one-sided wall, so to say, I'm just going to call it one side, one suede. All right, so okay, one side, and then edit the structure, and then just delete that gypsum board off of one side of it, right? Because it only needs gypsum board on the outside, right? So, all right, so I'm going to use that one. All right, so I've got gypsum board basically on the exterior side of the wall, and nothing on the interior side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep, yep. All right, so I got that four and seven eighths, and I call that one one side. Then I'm going to set my finish face to the uh, finish face exterior, where that gypsum board is. I'm going to give it a 10-foot base offset, right, because my floor is, my ceiling is at 10 feet. Then I want it to go up to the second floor. All right, and that's good. Now all i got to do is just then just kind of take that wall and then trace the uh, inside, or sorry, the, or the out, I guess the outside face of that uh, ceiling. There. And I'll put one here at the back of the stairs. No need to kind of continue through the uh, elevator, but you would put one on the other side there. Okay, so that's basically it. Let me go back to my um, 3D view. Give it a second. All right, so there it is. So that's that... Um, that uh, wall that I just created and it filled in the area there. There's one last step to kind of make it look um, a little bit more convincing. Let me go to my ceiling plan view. What I want to do is I want to join, see the little, you see the little wall there that's kind of drawn in? What I want to do is make that disappear and make it look monolithic like it's like that gypsum board is turning the corner and going up the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the wall and the ceiling and that line is going to, this line inside here is going to disappear. Alright, so I go to the modify tab and I go to join and I'm going to say join this root, the uh, the wall with the ceiling. All right, and then just keep going all the way around with that. All right, so that basically joined the wall of the ceiling. So now it's all kind of one monolithic piece here for this fur down. If I go back to my lobby view, then that little line horizontally disappears. You can still see the line for the floor, but that's fine. You know, you could put a 5 8 inch offset on that wall um, so that it sticks out a little bit further from the floor. But anyways, so that's basically what that uh, lobby should look like when you're finished. You'll have that little fur down uh, in there so that you can see it there. Let me move my camera a little bit lower. Alright, so that is basically the kind of how to finish up that ceiling. Uh, let me go to back to my ceiling plan. Alright, then the last couple of steps, the things that we're requiring on here are um, room labels, and that's pretty simple. Just go to annotate, um, tag all, and then we'll just say room. Let's see, room tag. Alright, then you tag your rooms. And you may have to move these tags around a little bit to uh, to get them to, so they can see it a little bit better. Alright, so that's basically it for the uh, ceiling plan.